All right. Slim bars are rattling around. Not is more than normal, I don't right, think. Was, anyway, what's up? Hey, it's the morning. Um, it's uh, it's Friday, February sixteenth, I think. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's Sudoku Mini Thon. Yay! Um, a little smaller this year, but not really. But yes, way smaller, but not really. Uh, you'll see kind of what I mean when you see the actual majig. But it's because uh, we need to do a much more streamlined system so we can clean up quickly because we have to be out in a few hours after the event is over. And the event's not till tomorrow, I should mention. So we're setting up today. And then uh, tomorrow is the actual event. And then it goes 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. I have to clean up in like a few hours. So even though we have a full day to set up, it still needs to be very tight, very like concise. And everything revolves around cleanup time, which is fine. It's not that much of a handicap. Just a few things we're not doing like, well, you'll see, but spoiler alert, we're not doing any drape. We're not doing any like uh, of those fancy up lights on the drape. Uh, you know, it's just less crank truss, but it's actually like very similar amount of fixtures. It is more moving heads than last year. And the overall kind of vibe of the rig, when the lights are on, like the, the our actual lights are on, it looks very similar, like the pattern is kind of the same. Uh, it just doesn't look as good when the house lights are on because there's no elegant draping and it doesn't look all fancy. That's okay. Anyway, right now, it's 9.45 and we are on our way to a warehouse. That's weird. Long time viewers may know we rent a lot of equipment and usually we just have it delivered. That's kind of what's mostly sort of happening today, but we're not renting as much. And it's not because the package is smaller, it's because we have a lot of things and we need to get those things transported. And those things are at a warehouse and we're renting some stuff. We're going to a company called Spirit Sound and Light. They are super cool and they're helping us store gear and transport gear being all around. Go you know, pal. Yeah. So that's where we're going now. We're gonna pack some stuff and we're not gonna leave until like 12.30 to be at the school by like one. Uh, their warehouse is only like 20 minutes, not even away from the school. And then our house is like four minutes away from the school. So it doesn't, we're gonna have to do probably at least like one and a half trips maybe. But anyway, we have loads of time. I don't know why this package would take us a particularly long time to set up, which is good. So, let's forward to see how it all turns out. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what do you have in your ear? They're the uh, wireless things. Yeah, we're going to have a lot Stacked. Hey, hurry, hurry. <laughs> let's shut this. Shut. Wait. I guess I'm Oh, baby. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heckin' yes. <laughs> at Cedar Cliff and all our stuff is in here and we got a lot of stuff this year this is pretty impressive looking Chave on Chave on Chave so what do you think about this stage Doug? this is Wanger stage tech? out of the box so nice <laughs> um, we're finding that out of the factory, these 
are really snug, like almost inconveniently snug, but we're just gonna learn how to mangle them better. And uh, I mean, we're done with the stage. And the stage we used to use is by Granite Industries. I don't recommend it. No offense, Granite Industries, but your stage sucks. <laughs> um, it's, it's just, it's lighter per square foot, it's strong, it's so much faster to go up. Comes on a cart, fits through a single door, like, so it's great. Doug, camera. What's up guys? It's the executive intern in training, Alex here. Just uh, showing you guys what we're up to. It's pretty crazy. There's a lot of metal, a lot of lights and cables. We're setting them up, making it look real nice. What's that? I said cables. Cables, I said, not cameras. He thought I said cameras. There's only one camera. I'm holding it right now. And uh, yeah, this is what we got going on. Let me flip this around so I can see what I'm doing. Got this nice little, look at that. There's Alex. Beautiful, beautiful. We got, we got the sponsors going up. Looking great, one through four in numerical order. Got some pizza going. Doug's there. He's, he's not, he's not feeling it. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoy this vlog. We got a lot of great stuff coming at you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> got this as soon as I started filming. <laughs> Rise here, as you can hey, see. Hey, oh, yeah, I want to roll on the Discord. I found it. Oh, yeah? I found it. Are you still recording? I found it. What? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. You keep this guy, Alex Bandera, is also in the Discord. I'm in the Discord. Yeah, I don't know. I'm in the Discord. I don't remember. Oh yeah, no, I was on the YouTube channel. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a roll. I'll give you a roll too. Sick. We got the, uh, what'd, you, what'd you call it? The, well, that's really close. Executive. Executive intern. Executive intern that's in right. training. The executive intern. In training. So here's yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So this was. Oh, Pierce. Like right here. Oh. You like, like brainstorm that one. Dude, I feel. Yes, okay. It's 251. Okay. Oh, it, it, it froze again. <laughs> Dude, I love this song. Unable to. <laughs> yeah, it's just not good. Alright, so here's a quick update. Don't know when the last update was. It's almost 9 o'clock. Um, we've got almost. We're getting really close. Like, we're getting, we're getting far. We've got front house mostly set up kind of you just kind of need to clear all this out after we get the totems wired and addressed
So at this point during the event, uh, we were supposed to show up on the second day around 6.30 p.m. in order to just kind of turn everything on and make sure it's all ready to go, totally ready for 8 when the event was supposed to start. But we didn't actually end up going back to the school until 10, which is three and a half hours later than we expected because uh, there was just like three or four, if not more, just snow on the road, which is not being cleared. And so we felt that it was unsafe to try to have people drive, potentially get hurt, potentially damage a vehicle, and not be able to do a future event. Um, but what, what was interesting was that the client, Cedar Cliff, didn't postpone or cancel the event, which we thought was odd. And in fact, I even asked the opinions of some of our friends in the production industry around us, and all of their events were canceled, and they were blown away that the event at Cedar Cliff wasn't even postponed. But because of that, what ended up happening is we could have just canceled, but we didn't want to do that because we had already set up the day before, and of course we want to have a good event. Um, so we decided to go in late, even though the event had already started. Um, so this footage you're going to see from day two might look a little weird or jumpy or not very conclusive. I don't know. I don't know how to describe. But the, my point is that we just didn't really have time to film because since we were going in late while the event was running, we were really trying to get caught up and we had some technical difficulties because we were rushing. And so just wanted to give you a heads up about the footage and figured it was a little bit of an interesting situation where it was a pretty bad weather situation, but the event still had to go on. I also want to say in regards to a situation which is potentially completely out of your control, in this case it's weather, but there could be other variables that make it so that you can't get to an event even though you have an agreement. Um, you should really consider uh, two things which are far more important than a single event, and that is your safety and your ability to do future events, because if you get in a car accident and you get hurt, well, you can't do a future event that you may have committed to. Or if you get in a car accident, even if you don't get hurt, your vehicle, which you need to get to those other events, might be out of commission. And I think this is really important because even if you have an agreement and a contract that says you will do an event, in this case, we did, but our contract also said that we can cancel the events of weather. But the point I want to make is that even if a client is pressuring you to come in, regardless of what your contract says, you should ultimately, you know, the buck stops with you kind of thing. You need to think about your safety, your ability to do future events, your future commitments, the safety of your crew, the safety of other people on the road. My, my, my point is that if you're a beginner and you're thinking about getting into this line of work, or even if you have some experience already, but you've never encountered a situation like this, I would highly recommend that you really consider if it's worth risking your future career, your, your safety, the safety of all people around you, just for a single event. Even if that event isn't canceled, even if you're being pressured, even if, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In this case, even after um, we considered all of our options, and even though we had the ability to cancel, we were comfortable going in when we were comfortable. It's as simple as that. But that's just because we have experience, we've done a lot of these events, we're familiar with this venue and the roads. If you are in any way uncertain about how things might play out, if you think it might be a little dangerous, my advice would be, regardless of it being pressured, regardless if it damages your relationship with the client, even if it causes you to have no more future events with them, um, don't do it. Even if the client is willing to potentially hire you again after this, if they're pressuring you and you're, making, and you're feeling really uncomfortable and you weren't ultimately happy with the decision of having to go in, I would also say it's worth considering declining any future events from that client because ultimately you're putting yourself at risk to not do even more events. And like I said earlier, this is just one event and you should really think about what's most important.
What's up, guys? <laughs> it's uh, executive intern in training Alex here. He's got promoted to assistant trailer park supervisor. It's been a great thon, great mini thon. <laughs> it's just right now we're waiting on limbo. We're gonna see some people getting low. Oh God, the limbo's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So we're just waiting for something to happen. And it's gonna, yeah. Turn, turn it around. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys what we're waiting, what we're doing. Already. <laughs> what is that? Oh, focus. There we go. Look at that. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Assistant Trailer Park Supervisor Alex, checking out. Love you guys. And it looks a lot cooler. Just put them in. Focus. Nope. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Four. The fleet's version's only in only in blue. World's shortest gig log. I know, we've had way shorter gig logs. Really? Yeah. But uh, we're done with Super Mathon. It is. You actually have a watch on this time. 10. Uh, 51. And at 7:30. What the? <laughs> 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 Dropping everything. Oh. oh. That's not good. We're missing the key. We're missing the key. That sucks. Find the key. Hold on, well, hold on here. Hold on. Ready. What was what was this key we were missing? I was holding it. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. I thought this somehow came. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so let's finish this clip and get it, get out. Um, toothpaste. Now it's ten fifty four, <laughs> and we're still done with Tooth Mathon. What a weird gig. We didn't explain anything, but like we didn't come in today until ten in. Like they were doing ply to me. Yeah, let's up. let's explain all of this later and sum up. Well, anyway, right now. I'm not gonna explain it later. Point is, we will explain it later. It was weird. We came in late. We did it. We did some stuff. We had some problems. There was all solved. Uh, you know, looked cool. We had to be out. We had to be out really fast, and that's why we're out here really fast. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it up now. Okay, bye.